In this lesson, we'll talk about choosing the appropriate device family for your app. One question you're always asked when creating a new Xcode project is what device family will this project support? Later in this course, we'll talk more about the technical details of this decision, but for now, I want to provide you with a general overview of the topic. We can choose iPhone if we're building for the iPhone. This will run on the iPhone and run in what's considered compatibility mode on the iPad. Compatibility mode means it will run at standard iPhone size on the iPad screen, or scaled up to 2x size if the user chooses to do so. Now, this is usually not a great user experience, so if you're really targeting the iPad, you probably would want to consider a different model. Alternatively, for only building for the iPad, we'd select iPad as our device family. This will only run on the iPad and can't be scaled down to work on the iPhone. Then we can also choose what's called a universal app. And this is a single binary that will run full screen on either the iPhone or iPad. Now, if we're really targeting both platforms, there is also a fourth model we can pursue where we actually set up two different build targets, each one targeting a specific platform. A target is a configuration that's used to build a particular product. Creating these two independent targets is a manual process, so there's no selection step that we make while we're creating our project, but can often be the right way to go if you plan on having a separate iPhone and iPad version of your app. There are a few questions you may want to ask yourself when you're making this choice. Many apps only make sense on a particular platform. iPhone apps are usually very quick hit and used on the go, whereas iPad apps usually have longer sessions with more involved user interactions. So you'll need to consider which platform best fits your app idea. Another question is what's the added development effort? And the short answer is often quite a bit. Although you can often reuse many parts of your application across platforms, the user interface and user interaction is usually significantly different between the two. And of course, one of the most important questions is what will your customers want? Generally, most users prefer universal apps, and why not? They can buy one app and have it work on all their iOS devices. There's definitely no easy answer to this question. And frankly, this gets into the topic of marketing, which is definitely not my forte but certainly something you should consider when you're planning the development of your app. Now, can you change your mind later? And the answer is absolutely. This isn't something you need to decide from day one. Throughout most of this course, we'll actually be developing for the iPhone. Now, I'm doing this solely in the interest of time, but rest assured that everything that we cover in this course will apply equally to developing for the iPad. At the end of the course, we'll actually go through the process of converting our iPhone-only app into a universal app. You should now understand device families. Choosing a target device family isn't a hard decision that you have to make right out of the gate, but something I would certainly consider while you're planning your app is it can help you make some better informed design and development decisions as you go along.